Assalamu alaikum everyone. I am Umme Humay Rahimi, student ID 190202. Today we are going to present the folder locker software we have built for computers. This software is designed to provide an extra layer of security to important files and folders in a computer. In this video, first we are going to discuss how the software works. After that, we will dive into the coding part. Let me start by showing how the software works. We have created an installer for our software with the help of Launch4j and Inno setup. Now I will install the software on my computer. I will change the directory path. I will save it into the software. Next. Shortcut. Next. Install. The software is installing. The software is successfully installed. Here is the software. After its installation, the software will automatically register itself to the registry editor. So, when I right click on a folder, we can see an option to use folder locker software. Here, locking unlocking option and remove password. We did this using writing scripts in the in setup installer while creating an installation exe file. Before locking the folder, we can see that anyone can enter the folder and view every file in the folder. There are no restrictions at all. We can see there are various types of files inside the folder. After locking a folder, the directory path of the folder will be written into a file named password directory. It is important to note that the file will be automatically created into the folder where the user installs the software. I have installed my software in this folder. Here is the password directory file. Initially, this file is empty. Now I will lock the folder using our software. Lock. I have to enter a valid password and confirm it. Here are some validation functionalities we have implemented. For example, at first I will give a password. Now I will give a wrong password. If both the passwords don't match, an error message is shown. Password doesn't match. Now, I will leave this box empty. And then lock. When I keep an empty field empty, an error message is shown and the input field is highlighted. Now, I will give the correct password. The folder is successfully locked. When I lock a folder using a password, we can see that the directory is already placed into this password directory file. Here are three parts, each password code part which is separated by at the rate sign. The first part is the folder path, which we have just locked. The second part is the password which we have entered in a hash format. And the third part is a secret key which is used to encrypt every file in the folder. Now when I try to open this folder, we can see that the folder is empty. The files inside the folder are encrypted using the secret key so that we can't access or view the files anymore. Now, I will unlock the folder. I will just simply select the software and enter the password. I also want to highlight that the software includes a system tray icon. Here. That appears when the software is open. This makes it easy to access and use the software. Now I will 
with the password and unlock. You can see that when I enter the password, I am directed inside the folder. The files are now decrypted and I can access the files. I can also completely remove the lock from a folder. Here is the remove password option. I will just simply put the password here. And once I do so, the password is removed. And now I can access the files freely. Now the second part will be explained by my groupmate Sumaya Jannati. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Sumaya Jannati. Student ID 200207. Now I will explain the rest of the project. Now that we have shown how the software works, it's time for discussing the coding part. We have developed our project using Java programming language. We have used Java 17 as the version. We have used standard Java libraries such as Swing for user interface, MIO and IO libraries for handling files, AWT for handling mouse click events and other standard libraries. This is our main class. Here we have created a folder locker object with the required parameters. The parameters are some paths and files such as subtitle title, icon file, name, logged file, file name, password file name, install path, icon path, logged icon path, etc. For the folder locker path, we have used argument 0 and the for the command, we have used argument 1. Argument is mentioned in the main class function. These two arguments value comes from the user selection. When a user right clicks on the folder, here uh, right clicks on the folder, the path of the folder will be passed to the code as a command line argument that is here similarly when user selects the lock unlock option a string lock will be passed from the command line and uh, when a user selects remove password the string remove will be passed as the command line argument this command line argument comes from the system register editor as we have shown at the beginning of the video so here is a folder locker in the registry editor after installing it. After the folder locker object, we created another object named tray, which will initiate the system tray when our subtrade is running. Here is our required code for system tray. The tray will show when I run the subtrade. Here is the system tray icon. Now I will show the folder class object. Here is a constructor folder locker. Here is the parameter string title integer white string install path string folder directory string password file name section. Folder lock is the most important class in our project that handles the user interface as well as all major functionality. I will describe more, most important method. The encrypt method encrypts the password using the MD5 standard so that no one can hack the password. Store password method it stores the password in the password directory.txt file. It 
calls the encrypt method and stores the password along with the password directory and a secret key to encrypt files. Remove password method is used to remove passwords from, from the folder. Extract password method will take a folder path as an argument and returns the password which was used to log that folder. The is logged method is to check if a folder is currently logged or not. Using this method, we decide which interface to show to the user. Add components method creates the user interface depending on the is logged method. The field response method is used to add some basic responses of the input field. For example, when we leave an input field blank or enter an incorrect password, the input fields will be highlighted in red. These functionalities are implemented here. We also have the open folder method, change folder icon method and finally the locker method. This locker method is used to lock or unlock a folder. This method describes the response that will be executed when a user clicks on the buttons to lock, unlock, or remove the password. At last, we have another class that handles the encryption and decryption of the files inside a folder. Here, we have four methods. The method encrypt accepts the secret key as a parameter and encrypts the files inside the folder. Then the method deletes the original files and hides the encrypted files. The decrypt accepts the same secret key that was used to encrypt a folder. As mentioned before, the secret key is stored in the password directory. From there, at first, we extract the secret key for a specific folder and then we decrypt it. The generate key function generates the secret key using cryptography library. We have the get string method, which will convert the secret key into the strict format. It is necessary because in the password directory file, we are storing the secret key as a string. And finally, we have an extract key method that converts a string into a secret key object. This method is used when we want to unlock a folder. As mentioned, this security handler class is used to encrypt every file in a folder, no matter the format of the file. Our code calls this object method while locking or unlocking a folder. We have used the Java security class for encryption and decryption. So, all of our projects, we want to improve our project further in the future to increase security. Thank you.